Hey guys, Zephanix here, and I just wanted to let you guys know that it's official. Age of Conan is now free to play. So you can go ahead and actually, well, play the game for free. That's pretty much how it goes. Um, that being said, there are still other options and go ahead and pay. Uh, go ahead and pay. There's the um, upgrade the premium package, which pretty much gives you the full run of the game. Where running, you know, playing as a free to play doesn't really give you full run. You can actually go ahead to the end of the game, yeah, but you're not getting kind of the extra stuff that you can get. That being said, there's also an item shot that I can't access right now because I don't have a character, which, by the way, brings me to the um, point of this video. Let's go ahead and enjoy the created character that is actually with Age of Conan while going ahead and giving a little bit of um, background with um, this particular game. Now, one of the good things about this game when it first came out, it was actually um, advertised as the, as the first mature MMO ever to come out. The thing is, is that um, it actually had plenty of blood, fatalities, it was pretty much, um, what it was, naked women, the whole kit and caboodle, you know? Unfortunately, um, it actually did not do very well in the markets, one of which is because it was actually one of those games that actually, um, well, required a steep computer to go ahead and play. It wasn't like um, World of Warcraft or um, EverQuest, EverQuest 1 that is, where you didn't really need a strong computer. Obviously EverQuest 2 really needed a strong computer, but um, aside from it, it was these are one of the many games that were considered WoW killers, quote unquote, but never quite reached that. Well, this one actually didn't reach at all. But at any rate, let's go ahead and create a character. First of all, um, let's go ahead and start off with the male characters and show you how they look. Uh, the male characters are pretty much uh, your tip of the male, um, well, Conan the Barbarian characters. You know, muscular or whatever. And you have four races to choose from, the Aquilians, the Chimerians, uh, the Stygians, and the Kithan. Um, of course, these are the Aquilians right here. These are the Chimer um, Chimerians right here. These are the stu okay, wrong, let's try another one. There we go, much better. These are the Stygians, and last but not least, this is the Kit, uh, Chitin, Chitin, or however you pronounce it. Basically, these guys you can't really access without the um, expansion pack, but I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and customize to see what it looks like, so. But, so let's go ahead and try this one here. First of all, you can choose a different voice to do. After that, you can go ahead and choose what you want um, him to be thin, big, muscular, or whatever that you choose. After that, choose your height, tall, short, whatever your heart desires. Then you can go ahead and give him a whatever tan that you want. After that comes the body markings. Choose whichever body markings that you want. See the tattoo right here on his back? Nice, actually. So. After that, or on this side, or left, right hand side, excuse me, we can go ahead and do uh, edits on the face now. Click right here to go ahead and focus on the face. Choose which different face that you want. After that, choose your eye color. For some reason, we got purple eye color, whatever. Um, hairstyle. Choose your stick hairstyle that you want. After that, you can choose his facial hair if you want. Goatee. Well, they call it a goatee. I don't really think that's a goatee, but whatever. There we go. Typical Chinaman right there, right? Tiss, tiss. Look at that. He looks like an elder Bruce Lee. Anyway, and of course, you can do the markings on the face. Or whatever markings that you want on the face. Turn around, please. Thank you. Now, I personally don't like markings on the face. Some people do. I prefer to go ahead and click on no markings. And then after that, you go ahead and get deeper advanced if you want to. And you can go ahead and modify um, different parts of the character himself, such as, you know, make his arms skinnier or, you know, more muscle mass or whatever that you want. After that, of course, on the right-hand side, you choose which class that you want to be. Now, the thing about this game is that as of right now, when you first start off in the actual original, um, how to say this, when you first start off as a free-to-play, should I say, you're actually limited to what you can do. I believe that you can um, get at least one, I think it's one of every single um, 
sub whatever that you want to do subclass here so, for example for a soldier you can do the first one which is a guardian if you uh, have the mage you can do a, a demonologist if you have characters that can do priest and um, rogue you will have these two open I believe but we're gonna go ahead and try it on anyway so um, let's go ahead and take a step back Okay, a step too far. And we'll try it again, and this time we're going to go ahead and try to create a female character. And see if we can go ahead and, um... If we can prove and find out if you can actually go ahead and choose, like, the first class. The first, yeah, the first subclass of the classes that we saw. So we're going to choose female, um... And as you see right here, Barbarian is open, so let's see if we can find one that has a priest. I think this, um, let's see, anyone? Yeah. So, yeah, basically, long story short, you can choose the first, um, whatever class in this particular row right here, you can choose. Now, the Aquilians have options to everything. I'm going to choose a Stygian female today. So, only thing she can be when you're being a Stygian right now in a free class is a Demonologist. So, let's go ahead and customize her a bit and see what we can come up with. Now... If you're trying to be a black woman, to be perfectly honest with you, you're going to need to choose this one. Because I don't think anyone else really has, well, black skin. Just being honest there. So, um, let's go ahead and make a, see if we make as close to a black woman as possible. Now, of course, this particular race, I believe, is more so set off the Egyptians. But you got to take what you can get. So, um, let's see. She's only a mage. So, I guess we can make her thin. You know what? Let's make her thin make a little bit big you know I is likes me a booty you guys know that so anyway you get to choose the tattoos on whichever tattoos that you want here okay Anyway, so let's go ahead on to the right hand side, like I show before with the face and everything. Click on that to forward to her face. Focus on her face rather. Gets different uh, facial facial things right here. Ooh, look at that. She's real happy for some reason. Okay, let's try this one. So then we can go ahead and choose the eye colors. You see the eyes are changing. Uh, after that you can choose the hair. Funny thing, that's actually, I think that's my wife's hairstyle in, um, on Xbox Live, but whatever. We'll leave the hair like that. A big old super-sized ponytail. There we go. No facial markings. You can make facial tattoos if you want to. I personally never been in one facial tattoos, but we'll leave her with a scarred eye. Long story short, she was a slave, right? Master had to go ahead and get dirty on her. So, after that... Like we said before, you get to choose um, and go ahead and modify the body to your heart's content. You know, not satisfied with the bosoms? Make the bosoms bigger. Like big butts and cannot lie? Well, up the posterior. There you go. I mean, it's pretty simple to go ahead and do, and you can go ahead and make it as complicated as you want. So after that, all we have to do is just go ahead and type in a name. And there you go. That's pretty much how you create a, uh, create a character. You go ahead and click on Enter Game and you enter the game. Now, of course, I'm not going to go ahead and enter the game right now. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to uh, create a character works in Age of Conan. And definitely invite you guys to let you know you can always go ahead and enjoy, um, play with me or anyone else who's online right now on Age of Conan. Just go ahead and check it out at www.ageofconan.com. You guys have a good night. Zafnix is out. Hey guys, uh, one more thing, one more thing that I, I saw that I wasn't really happy with, but whatever's whatever, personally. Um, so, say you want to go ahead and purchase a new class, say, because I, I am partial necromancer, so say that you want to go ahead and choose a necromancer. Well, obviously you can't choose as we stated before, because of the fact that you can only choose the first, uh, before, first one in each individual classes here. So if you want to choose necromancer, you have to either buy the premium version or you got to purchase the class separately. So if you click on purchase now, right, look it up the right hand corner, left hand corner rather, it comes to the part where you can go ahead and buy the actual uh, class. 
Now, if you read up here, it says Premium Class Necromancer gives you access to the Necromancer class for 750 points, right? Now, these points are actually these points called Famicom points. I know, they couldn't really think of anything original. They had to call it Famicom points. Fair enough, though. Whatever's whatever, right? The thing is, though, is this. So you click on Buy Famicom Points. Now, remember, the actual price of the um, class was actually 75, 750. However, in this particular game, you can only you have to pay in terms of points, which means that you got to pay uh, ten dollars just to get a seven hundred and fifty. You know what I mean? I'm not really happy with that particular uh, aspect here, but whatever. While I got you guys, I'll show you guys some other things too. So you can also get social uh, armor if you want to, or if you're trying to go deeper here, you can buy plate and things of that nature. Here's some prices of some of the um, things here. So I just thought I let you guys see that here. Also, let's go down to the, um, okay, it's not, I thought it might give me like an easy way to go ahead and um, check it out. Let me see how much the expansion pack is going to cost too. Uh, let's see here, special offers, no, that's definitely not it. Bundles maybe? Well, here are some uh, expansion packs, uh, excuse me, some bundle packs if you're interested in that. Um, Let's see. I mean, but I said before, one of the good things about this game is that you can go ahead and buy these weapons if you want to without the need to go ahead and, um... Hold on one second. I'm trying to see if the reason why it's not showing me... Apparently there's no um, weapons there just yet, but at the second, at the same time, no big deal because of the fact that in um, in EverQuest 2, when it became free, there was no weapons there at first either. So no big deal. It'll it, they'll pretty much show up eventually here. But just to let you know, so um, to get extra slots right here, it will cost a little bit of money here to get print here. Let me just go ahead and. Okay, so get an additional slot right here. It's going to cost you one fifteen hundred points. Damn. Premium classes each will cost you seven hundred fifty points. Uh, if you want to get some extra abilities, uh, they don't have them yet. Some feats. Yeah. If you guys are going to play this game for free, by all means, Boo Boo. But uh, yeah. I, for one, will not be buying any of these classes, most likely. I'm going to probably just stick to whatever's here. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that, okay? You guys have a good night. Zeph is out.